Hello, I'm Nick, and I'd like to introduce you to all of my woodwind instruments. I'm going to start with the saxophone, because it's the one that I started with. I started playing when I was in about year four, so I was only just big enough to get my fingers around the saxophone, and it was just about as tall as I am. And, um, well, the saxophone's very fun. Because it can fly around like that. It's really good at doing really, really quick stuff like that. And, well, it's used a lot in jazz. It's also used in classical music. Um, and I actually did a classical saxophone degree, so I'm a classical saxophone player. Um, so it is used in orchestras and other classical settings like chamber music um, and it can also make a, so it can make a really so smooth and um, peaceful sound, a lot like a clarinet but sort of bigger and rounder. <laughs> That's a little bit from um, the Rachmaninoff Symphonic Dances, um, that's for a big orchestra that uses the saxophone. So that's the saxophone, nice, shiny and golden. And the saxophone's actually probably the newest instrument. It's only 200 years old, which is very, very new for a saxophone. For a saxophone? <laughs> very, very new for an instrument. Our clarinet is a little bit older. Um, and it's very similar to the saxophone because the saxophone was based on the clarinet, really. So we've got a reed and a mouthpiece. So this bit that I put my mouth on, the mouthpiece, just the same, um, just slightly different shapes. A saxophone is a big cone. It gets wider as it gets to the bottom, and a clarinet's totally straight. Um, and you can sort of tell that in the sound. The, the sound on a saxophone sort of flares out a bit more, sort of, whereas a clarinet is very... Well, we'll hear in a second. It's very pure and sort of controlled. the Mozart clarinet concerto was Mozart wrote um, for the clarinet because it was about Mozart's time when the clarinet started to take its shape, started to look like this. Um, so he really liked that instrument and wrote um, a lot for it. Um, and it can play, well, plays in orchestras um, and it plays lots of classical music. Um, but it was also used a lot in New Orleans um, at the start, the sort of birth of jazz, when people started playing jazz, um, sort of before the saxophone got really adopted, um, people would play on clarinets, and they play in a very different style. So in our classical world, we play very straight. But in New Orleans, everyone started playing like this. sort of wobbly sound um, which is really fun so it's great that the clarinet can do all those and the clarinet is really good at doing these whooshes sort of and so on um, which is quite a fun sound that it can make and then going even older, to maybe the oldest instrument ever, ever, is flute. 
And um, so the flute, as it looks like this, um, is um, maybe it's looked like this for about 200 years as well, but there was wooden flutes before it, and then going back all the way to like prehistoric times, um, people have found bones with holes drilled in them. And so every civilization forever has had some form of flute, um, um, which is quite cool. So it's um, like the oldest ever instrument. And it's sort of um, simpler here. We don't have a reed. We don't have a mouthpiece. We just have this hole. And quite unintuitively, we're not going to blow into it like that. We blow across the front of it. You might be thinking it's very, it's quite different. The, whilst the saxophone and the clarinet look very similar to each other, this one's, a, well, it's very different here and it's also shiny and um, silver. Uh, but it has exactly the same buttons. So that's something that stays the same across all of our instruments is that they've got these six buttons down the front, um, which means that it's easy to swap between them. Um, and it's actually why it's so good starting on the recorder, because that gives us a really good understanding. And the six buttons here, um, that helps us go on to all of these different instruments. Um, and, well, you've noticed that I'm playing all of them, because um, I started on the saxophone, but it's very easy then um, to swap onto all the other ones, which is very fun. And that means if you want to play in musicals, or maybe um, like pop music or, well, lots of types of music, you'll just have one person playing all of these instruments, which is quite fun. And um, you don't have to just do the one, because maybe if you played um, the piano or the violin, um, you would spend all your time just playing that one, um, which some people really like doing. But I really like being able to play all these different instruments. And actually, recently, I got some um, bagpipes. I'll just show you the bagpipes. Where have they gone? Here. And actually they've got the same buttons as my recorder. So I could just play them pretty much as soon as I got them. And there's so many other instruments as well that um, use the same, that use exactly the same fingers. I'll just show you some bagpipe playing to annoy my neighbours. Um, usually, um, if we've got smaller fingers, so if we're sort of year three or year four, um, starting on the clarinet might be a bit easier, because it's slightly easier to hold on to than a saxophone, and it's less weight around our neck. Um, but it depends on everyone individually. Because also, the clarinet's quite tricky, because it's got actual holes we've got to cover up. Just like the recorder, you've actually got to cover up the holes with your fingers. But, on the saxophone, you get these lovely pearls, and you just have to press the button down, and this covers up the hole for you. So you could have tiny, tiny little fingers that wouldn't cover anything up. but can still play the saxophone. So it depends on everyone individually. Um, but let's hear some, let's hear some bagpipes to finish. <laughs> I think it just shows you that all the possibilities if you start playing um, a woodwind instrument. There's so, so many. Um, so many things that use the same buttons and have the same, you need the same musical skills for. Um, and it really opens up the whole world. Right.
who liked learning all about the flute and a clarinet. And there we go. And the saxophone. Whoosh. And um, oh, well, I hope you'd really like to learn one of them. Okay, thank you.